Hello and welcome to Clay to Canopy, the show where I attempt to make just about everything from the ground up. And welcome to week 14 of the Build and this Dragon She Shed series. Alright, um, yeah. I took a week off. Today is November 9th. Allergy season hit with a bunch of high winds. And I know it's allergies because number one, I've tested for COVID. Number two, when I left my side of town and drove an hour out, could breathe clearly. Now I live in a city with a lot of trees, so I think that something in bloom is like making me all congested. It's So I probably sound, I have that like rugged sound of like allergy congestion. <laughs> so you're gonna have to deal with that for however long whatever the hex in bloom goes away. Last week the winds came and so did the rain and apparently we have the rainy season that came much earlier than expected. Normally our rain season starts in like January. It is two months early. I do not think at this point that it is going to be safe to go back to the dragon. In a minute we're gonna go take a look at all the water damage that happened. I was not expecting the downpour that we had. Usually when it, they say rain here in California it literally means like drizzle to east coasters. But there was some pretty strong rain downpours that were like hail coming down too. So things got a little more trashed than I expected. I did accomplish printing out the parts for the head. At the very least, even if it is wet out there, I can assemble dragon head in here. I can put the epoxy on, but then if it gets damp in the air, it's not curing right. I finally went on the glass run to a Home Depot in an area that's like two hours away from me. So I did that run last night to try and get it out of the way. And there I was in the truck worried about these three foot long sheets of glass because it was pouring rain and I couldn't put him in the bed of the truck. So I had him in the cab and I'm like, had him sort of what I thought was wedged. I took one turn and here comes all the glass. It was just an interesting two hour ride home. Needless to say, I do still need to unload the glass. I just got home late and left it in the truck after that because I had worked and I was just kind of done for. So that needs to happen today. And then I think I'm gonna clean up here. I'm not gonna start cutting dragon head parts just quite yet. I really want to begin the glass. I did start going in and trying to pop all of those glass bits out where I thought some of the pieces didn't quite fill well and some of the glass was stuck. I've got 17 of those panels. I probably am only gonna be able to do maybe three to four panels in the kiln each time. So this is already gonna be the long process and it takes three days for each one to turn over. We're going into our busy season on campus. I need to do my firing of these pieces in off season when we're on break. So I had planned on doing a lot of firing during Thanksgiving. Sarah said she came out here cause I was working yesterday and the tarp was blowing all over the place. So she tried to like prop it with the bags but not before water was pooling in different crevices and I actually haven't had a chance to even undo this. Thankfully that was the only spot and this is waterproofed because of all of the epoxy but inside here is not waterproof and I think there's been some condensation or something coming in because there are bits of pooling on the plastic. I did buy a larger tarp so I'm gonna put the smaller tarp back here, put the larger tarp on the other end but you can see, well maybe it dried up now, there was some water damage all in the back end there. I can see a little bit of it. I'm regretting my choice to not have just coated everything on the inside. This top seems to be okay. There was some water spots, but because it's waterproof now, it kind of just comes off. So this will get done and dealt with today, but I need to first go and unload the glass. So I'm gonna take care of that. Slight change in plans. I soaked up the water that was in the well of the dragon, but then I took down the plastic to give me some room so I could come in and out with the glass. And Cleo is sunbathing on one of the trash cans over by the gate. So I went out into the garden because I was also gonna make some soup today and realize that my lilac is ridiculously overgrown. I'm trying to train my lilac into a tree. There are a bunch of these offshoots that I need to clip off. And so I was gonna do that and I realized it's incredibly bendy. I am gonna trim the lilac, but as I trim the lilac, because these are nice and green and soft, strip these cane, basically they're gonna become canes that I'm gonna try and form over this bucket. This way they can harden and dry in the round. Hopefully what I should end up getting some rounds that later on I can make a basket with for the dragon. That's gonna be the plan right now. That way I can give her a little bit of time out there 
perhaps I can do this by weaving these in. Maybe string. I think string might actually be the best option. Someday I will have a gorgeous piece of land that I can grow all kinds of materials for making things with. That is like the ultimate dream right there. Right now is where I wish that like, you know, octopus hands. Uh, uh, do it this way. No! You know what would be helpful? A clamp. Maybe, maybe, maybe. What if I clamped these two? This is nothing that I had planned on doing today, but honestly, I'm kind of in a weird, I don't feel like doing anything but hibernating kind of mood. And I still have a damn dragon to build, but at the same time, I'm kind of like easily getting distracted right now by other things. always working around cats. Cleo has moved so I want to get the glass in here but before I do that I gotta clean up this broom corn and get it out of here and tidy to make room for it so I'm back here just piling up the corn as I watch little Miss Peanut eat lilac leaves. My boy is in his chair very happy happy. Ugh. I'm kind of over these corn stalks. I think they're all going out with this week's Stuff. So I'm not going to bother saving them. I'm just going to save the broom. The broom corn gift that keeps on giving. Everybody's getting brooms. Y'all getting a broom. Y'all getting a broom. Probably by the time I make these brooms, it's not going to be till the spring. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe I'm still going to be freaking assembling parts of this dragon next fall. I really hope not, but uh, you never know at this stage. These vlogs are what I really go through and process. When I was doing those project videos, this is the stuff you never really saw. I just kind of would prep all of this stuff months in advance. I just have the materials when I was getting into the projects that they were going to be applied to. It's going to take months to dry, but it needs to be processed. I'm over here working and totally at a moment of like, what's missing? And I'm missing my headphones and music. I've had such a distracting morning and I totally lost sight of everything I had meant to do today out here filming because the morning was a bit chaotic. And I had intended on introducing these. This is something I saw online, I wanted to try, and I was really stoked about them, and they came in the mail yesterday. These I am super excited for. I paid 31 bucks for these on Amazon. I saw these really expensive version of sunglasses that had wireless Bluetooth in them, and I thought somebody must make a safety glass version. And so I found a $30 pair of safety glass version. I turned them on last night because I was super excited. I got them, charged them up, and they have speakers in the over-the-ear part and I'm um, super stoked to try them out for 30 bucks. Hopefully they will last at least a couple months, right? This is OHO Sunshine Audio Glasses. So I'm gonna give these a whirl. I have no expectations. They were 30 bucks. <laughs> it is more like listening to outward music because they're not directly in your ear. It's like surround sound. All right. Glass is in. I need to finish up with the, uh, the lilac stuff over there. Uh, I'm gonna get those all tied up. Then I will clean, and then I will attempt to do something with some glass if I'm got any energy left. Otherwise, I'm gonna go inside and make some soup. Um, yeah. But let's see where we get. And so far, so good. These are pretty awesome. Let's see now how long they last before the battery dies. That's like the next biggest test. if I can just get them somewhat round, screw the bucket, um, that'll do me. I got like four or five left and I'm just realizing that, yeah, life would have been a hell of a lot easier if I just zip tied them rather than sitting here tying a bunch of freaking knots. Uh, and so it goes. What else? It's a natural material. I'm using natural jute. It is what it is. I guess these glasses do not allow me to see hindsight. Foresight. Maybe foresight before the hindsight, right? Because now I'm in the hindsight. Should have just zip tied. Oy. I blame it on the head congestion. Mm hmm. Doo -doo -doo. Um, I just realized I turned on the oven to heat something up. This is, this is 
cloudy dust. I gotta go inside and figure that out. I'm a bit of an idiot. Um, I just realized I got I well I got the tarp on and that's squared away, and everything's tidy and ready to go for the glass. Except that I left my major glass supplies, the cutter, the oil, all that good stuff on campus. So I can't actually cut any glass today. So I have to make a choice. It's about two o'clock now. I still had plans to make that soup because it just feels like soup season. And I want to use my Christmas limas that I've grown. I did bring the glass in. Unfortunately, one of the larger pieces, which this was the reason why I was trying to avoid having to get this uh, 24 by 36, they were out of 24 by 18. This was a trek. I don't know if I broke this getting it out of the truck or if it smashed when all of it tipped as I took that turn. Since I was cutting this in half, it may be I have enough space to get where I need. I can return it, but I won't have a replacement because my local Home Depot did not have this size. I'm gonna get my templates and cut up the pieces this afternoon. And I'm gonna turn my music back on because I am like loving these safety glasses. And by a happy accident, it is nearly the right cut. The way that it broke. Now if only I can magically break the rest of them to like just kind of be the right curve. Cause that's just like damn near close. Look at that. That's just like super close. This is like one of those magical things that happened. This project has literally like been nothing but copying templates over and over again. If there was ever a project to like stress the importance of models and templates, this is that project. I am gonna call it today. I'm gonna go inside and make some soup and hopefully bring back my gear for Friday. All right, y'all, it is Saturday. I never got a chance to get out here yesterday. Uh, the day just got away from me, but that's okay. When I was on campus on Thursday, I realized that I didn't leave all of my glass supplies there and I actually had brought them home and they were buried somewhere in my office. What ups? My plan today is to get started on cutting up some of this glass and see how it goes. I kind of feel like I need to get the big pieces out of the way first. It's the same principle with the wood where you start with a larger piece. If something should go wrong with the larger piece, you can hopefully get a smaller piece out of it. It is Saturday, so there's lots of noise. I am charging my safety glasses. I'm loving those things and I ordered another pair. This is sort of a quiet task. Low key, headphones are on, or in this case, safety glasses on. Tracing out patterns and cutting glass. It is Sunday morning, Sunday, November 13th, and uh, the glue still isn't dried. I literally just went to pick this up to check it, and the two pieces fell apart. So, yeah, I guess the people who said that the glue never dries is totally right, because it's still not freaking dry. I think this is going to be a slow week anyway of me trying to get these bits on, so I'm not too concerned. I'll worry about it when I try and move it next week. This week I'm trying to prep all the glass. During the week of the Thanksgiving break is my plan to go to campus and start firing up some of these panels. Hopefully by Friday the glue will have dried. I will say it has been really cold, freezing right now. And so that possibly is another reason why this hasn't cured yet. It is another one of those days where I'm just going to throw headphones on and get her done. I have to.
I have finished up the rough cut of the pattern pieces. I still have two full sheets left. Now I'm just taking the scraps, anything that's really small and stringy, I'm setting aside so I can smash them. This process has lent itself to a brand new lesson that I will be introducing to my advanced high school students. They're going to be making ceramic molds and casting glass. Basically the same process that I'm using to make the window, but they'll be using this process to create abstract, I guess I'm calling them painting, abstract transparent paintings. So I'm going to save the clear stuff for them for bits of crackle. The glue dry, but it's not very strong. They pulled apart and realized that a lot more glue would need to be used. Maybe the weight of this glass is just too heavy. I'm just going to spend some time tidying this area with that so that way I can fully switch out to getting the grinder out here and working with that. All right, y'all, it is another blustery 63 morning. It is Monday morning and I have the studio reset to deal with some glass grinding. So I'm just gonna, again, put my head down, get the job done. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna get done today. I'm a bit fatigued after yesterday. My hands are killing me a bit from all of the glass cutting. What else? I'm turning on my audiobook and gonna get to work. All right, I'm at the halfway mark on the grinding. I've grind half of the glass. I'm gonna go ahead and change out this water. Mainly, the way I've been doing this is just letting the top of the water drain and then at the bottom of this is like filled with the sludge of the glass. So I'm just leaving that in and then I've been using a popsicle stick just to scrape it up so it doesn't end up down the sink. As a side note, for those of you who are like, I don't get it, half of the time she's protecting herself from silica and the other half of the time it's like, now she's just grinding glass. Silica is toxic in its dust form. It's very fine dust form. Silica is a mineral that is found in most dirt soils. It is in the earth. It forms into a rock. The rock gets harvested, ground up. It's more about breathing in the fine particles in the air. When it's wet down, it's safer. That being said, I still don't want giant chunks of silica going down the sink. At a certain point, the water gets a little too thick and it makes it a little bit kind of more sticky, I guess, when you're grinding. I actually haven't been pouring the water down the drain. I usually keep a five gallon bucket. That's my runoff bucket of stuff that will eventually harden like plaster and you pour any excess residue into it, the water eventually evaporates and you can crack out whatever's into it and just throw it in the trash. This goes into those two. It's really handy. All right, getting back into it. Nice and clean. All right, y'all, it is Wednesday and I have finished doing all the grinding and the gluing. I finished that on Monday. So right now I'm gonna move all of this glass out of here somewhere safe temporarily while I reset up the um, templates. I need to go back to my original templates, the ones that I cut for these shapes, draw in the secondary line, which is where the framing's gonna go, and then start placing the circles. I have everything laid out. I did have to make a few alterations. I broke apart some molds and others I had to substitute pieces for. But on the whole, I'm pretty happy with where this is at. I'm gonna roll with it as is, and now I'm gonna just start gluing.
All right, y'all, these are gonna sit out here to dry. I'm gonna try and get them packed up tonight, if not tomorrow night, but I'm gonna call week 14 here. Hope you enjoyed this week. Please like, share, and subscribe if you have not done so already. Stick around to watch this project all unfold, and remember, don't wake the dragon.